Okay, Cody Enos writes, Dear Collider, with a new superhero movie coming out faster than a snail eating a pancake and big franchises blooming more properties than a flower bed in the middle of a field, I was wondering how come these films that spend hundreds of millions of dollars almost always have just okay CGI? Films such as Ex Machina, The Witch, and other moderately low-budget films seem to have a better handle on how to hide, enhance, and utilize CGI, but whenever someone sees a tentpole film, almost always people will come out saying wish the cgi was better so i was wondering why is that i think it's apples and oranges i don't think you can compare that that stuff because the cgi in kind of lower budget movies they they're more subtle and they're not going for with these big tentpole movies you're creating something huge right like a hulk or ultron and a bunch of bots or you know, star killer base yeah, yeah like you're creating these things out of nothing where a lot of these low budget things they're they, they're just kind of either hiding things or masking things or doing very subtle effects and they're not doing a lot of them so they're able to kind of craft that and they kind of the stories don't demand that so I, that's that's my reason Jason uh, you know I want to say first off Cody thank you for pointing that out because I've been thinking that for like about a year now uh, I've been noticing it too I also think you're, you're, you're on the money too and I also think it's a little <laughs> bit too that the smaller films their CGI is all done by one effects house whereas bigger movies they shop it out to like 12 different mm -hmm. effects house that's the reason why the credits run for 15 minutes uh, um, but it is something that I have been noticing and I, and I agree with you that I think the smaller films they focus on their like we're only gonna make like the Android and Ex Machina that's our only special effect whereas like someone like Star Wars they have like we've got to figure out how, how does Jakku look yeah. how, how does the Millennium Falcon look how does the the Jabba the Hutt look you know um, because there is a shot in Force Awakens that has bothered me Ever since I saw it, it's and, and it's just a little bit of the. Is it um, when the sword goes through Han? No, no, it's <laughs> it's it's where the uh, the Millennium Falcon when they're on Jakku and 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 its butt whips past the camera when mm -hmm. it does that hard U turn. Yeah, yeah. Like the Millennium Falcon has always looked a little rubbery when it does that turn to me. Okay, what about you? Well, I'll tell you what, Cody, your comparisons about snails eating pancakes get me about happy. My mom is sweet tea on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Jesus, how many puns do you have to throw in that thing, dude? <laughs> Uh, good, good question though. I, Josh McCuga lives in Hollywood, California. <laughs> if you'd like to go track him down, um, you know, I I notice. I think I'm one of those guys that I get really annoyed by the like the just fight after fight after fight where they like break and break and break and the people just like pop back up because CGI helps you and and you throw through all that kind of stuff. I would love to see more practical fight effects like in movies like The Raid and stuff. But John I'm Wick. yeah yeah John mm -hmm. Wick things like that. Um, but I think the CGI that they really do well are when they do the places and they mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. for like Guardians in the Galaxy CGI was what sold me on that entire movie. I loved everything in there. Now on other ones where the CGI is in the best, it usually comes around in the action scenes because mm -hmm. there's so much mixing involved in it and you can't do everything perfect. I mean, they could sit in the edit bay for five years and still not get it perfect. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, true. and I also think that you know, with big budgets things, I, like, you know, uh, a lot of the stuff that you see and you notice, like the CG, you know, you're talking about the Millennium Falcon, Force Awakens, but there's a ton of uh, visual effects work going on that people don't oh, we, notice. Oh, totally. Like, if you watch, I mean, uh, we we got the Force Awakens Blu-ray early we for a commentary video, and I watched the behind-the-scenes stuff, and you'll see just, there's so much, I mean, for all the talk about, like, yeah. practical, practical, practical on things like Mad Max or even Force Awakens, there's so much green well, screen and visual all, yeah, effects All you on. have to do is watch the, the Mad Max Fury Road, like, yeah, 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 Blu-ray, when you see that, like, they literally CGI'd in all the hills around them because they were in flat desert the entire movie, yeah. Yeah. you know, for safety reasons. And you're just like, wow, like, I never would have considered that that hill with CGI, they do that all the time. And that's where the CGI like <laughs> is strengthened. What I think it is is that bigger movies tend to do these moves, these flourishes, like of, of the big power move or the character walking to the camera that we tend to notice and we tend to be more critical of. And that's where we notice the weaknesses of CGI. Yeah. What's some horrible CGI you've seen recently? The most horrible? Oof. I mean, I don't know about like super recently, but I remember when X-Men Origins came out, mm -hmm. I was watching, I was like, there's His claws? No he has claws uh, and even some of the bullet shots and mm -hmm. i was looking i was like i could do that at home on after effects <laughs> i'm like why is this on a big budget movie like i was i was i was my mind was blown the, the one that well it's it's an old movie but i recently rewatched the original lord of the rings movies on blu-ray and uh anytime that legolas does the crazy flips yeah. and he does it in the hobbit too where he's like running across these stones with where gravity doesn't exist in this world <gasps> yeah anytime legolas does these weird flips uh looks terrible anything for you uh 
the last Transformers movie I thought was just absolutely brutal <laughs> CGI wise. Like when every they time they turned into the little box things or whatever. Or yeah. Like when, <laughs> it's, it's weird because Transformers, uh, even though I don't like the franchise, all the movies before the visual effects were fantastic. Yeah, they um, were. The first movie's amazing. This yeah. one they just mailed in a dinosaur. They're like, <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.